Hey guys, Nick from Fluid Ember. Today we're talking 12 valve, Cummins 12 valve. This is for 89 up to 97. Uh, some of the non intercooled models may require a fan spacer. Uh, you can get that from places like Gino's Garage. I believe Power Driven Diesel has them as well. Uh, so, part number 960311. Let's open it up, take a look at what you get inside. This does come with the uh, parts for the factory tachometer. So they're going to be in the foam and we just wanted to make sure you see them. So uh, in here you'll have your instruction sheet as well as the sticker and the SFI card. You're going to need to hang on to that if you plan to go to the racetrack. Uh, in the foam here is packaged up is the bracket for the factory tack sensor. You'll have your bolts, all the hardware is here. And again, that is in the foam. So make sure you don't lose that. Keep an eye out for that piece. Uh, we'll get some phone calls now and again, uh, people looking for that and it's in here. Uh, also in the package is going to be the wiring kit that comes for it. Uh, this is just an extension that we provide with some solder connectors. Um, the instructions are inside there and a nice little piece of webbing to keep it all clean. Um, you don't necessarily need that. In a lot of cases, you're able to manipulate the wires enough to reach the new location. Um, but if you need to stretch it out or uh, add the wiring harness, we do provide that in there. Um, it, it only works for the factory tax sensor. There's no sensor that's included. It is just a relocation bracket for it. Uh, now to the damper itself. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the foam. This is a uh, black zinc chromate. Retains the factory pulley size, so you'll be able to run the factory belt. And all the diameter there is the same. Uh, it is a little bit larger itself uh, overall, but there's no issues with clearance. Uh, you can see that there are the reliefs. There's two of them there. Uh, for the factory pickup as well. The uh, flange here, uh, we provide two pin holes for our drill pin kit, part number uh, 300,002. Um, so those are already in the damper itself. You'll have the uh, laser engraved part number, SFI number, and the fluid damper logo. Uh, the flange, uh, I know we've set it on some of the other uh, Cummins ones, uh, the flange was definitely uh, updated on these as well. So it's got a thicker flange. Um, just make sure you read the installation instructions when you're installing these uh, and get the correct bolts. The bolts on uh, Cummins engines are a torque to yield. So we do recommend replacing them uh, either with stock fasteners or uh, use a uh, performance fastener such as ARP. So again, this is nine six zero three eleven for the 12 valve uh, Cummins. One of the other uh, notes is our damper for the 24 valve um, nine six zero three zero one. Uh, that one you can use as well, um, but it does not have the reliefs for the tack pickup. So uh, if you don't require them or need them, you can also run that damper as well. Uh, but this one is specifically for the 12 valve. Uh, same thing with our Cummins competition damper for the 12 and 24 valve. The outer housing here is thicker. Um, for the guys that want to run a data logger or a different style uh, pickup that requires you to mount in a magnet or something of that sorts, um, the housing itself is a little bit thicker and you can drill uh, in to uh, no more than 30 thou depth uh, to mount in your uh, magnets. So if you have any questions about this damper or any of our other products, feel free to uh, give us a phone call or shoot us an email at support at fluiddamper.com. We'd be happy to help you out and answer any of the questions you may have. Um, if you want to see another product, let us know. Uh, if you're interested in uh, seeing more about the drill pin kit, part number 300,002, you can check out that video, and also our uh, full power kit and bolt kits, the uh, part number 300,008 for the full power kit. 
Uh, so until next time, hope you guys stay safe and we'll see you soon. Bye.